Hello, it's Brian with Baru Art, and today I wanted to share with you an example of a style or a method of drawing called circulism. And if you've never heard of it or you've never tried it, well, let this be a video that can whet your appetite, because I think that you really would enjoy it. One of the things that I really like about circulism is that the end product is often just a really nice, soft, and dreamy effect. And that's achieved by doing many, many layers of circles on top of each other. And you can really get a beautiful effect uh, by the time the piece is done. I would say that circulism is most closely related to the impressionistic style called pointillism. Uh, that was probably best exemplified by Georges Seurat uh, in the late 1800s. Um, he used tiny dots and was able to do color mixing not on his palette, but on the canvas. And so you would do color mixing reds and blues and you get a purple, um, just doing little dots over and over and over again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I went from a sketch to a final drawing using circulism. This piece probably took me a number of hours to do, so of course I'm gonna speed this up and you'll be able to get the general idea of how I came about doing it. So I'll tell you how I came across the style. Uh, I went to a art gallery and I saw these beautiful, gorgeous pieces, um, just soft and dreamy and just felt like an old photograph. They're really, really nice. And uh, the artist's name was Maggie Toole. I had never heard of her and I don't even know if she's still active um, these days, but I was just so floored by the things that she had done that, you know, I just wanted to try it myself. And what she was doing was circulism. Um, I read an interview with her and she said basically that she had a hard time being able to mix uh, paints in her palette and get it to work well on a canvas. But that this sort of style, uh, which she compared to doing like chalk on a, on a sidewalk, um, was really intuitive for her and she was able to understand this without much effort. I thought that was really encouraging. You know, I think I'm not the only one that has had a hard time with certain aspects of art and to see someone that I really, really admired and hearing how she had struggles doing certain things and had found her style, a, a way of doing things that she felt really comfortable with, and that was just really encouraging for, for me. I think that one of the things that Maggie Toole ended up liking about circulism is that you do mix your colors right on the surface. So you see here, there's a mixture of yellows, purples, magenta, blue, orange, but mixing them together, you get a really interesting depth to the skin tone in this case. And this process is really slow for me. What I'll usually do is start with a color that I know I want to use in an area, and I'll fill it with that color with circles, and then I'll stand back and I'll see, well, you know, this area needs more magenta or it needs more blue. And then I'd add it in those areas Then stand back again. And, oh, you know what? Maybe it needs a little bit of orange or some green. Uh, the nice thing about this is it is slow. So anything that you do is probably not going to be a disastrous mistake, even if it's the wrong color. You can usually correct it with, um, you know, a complementary color, or uh, just by covering it over with um, with other colors that you do want to use. 
I think it's a very intuitive way of mixing colors, especially if you aren't really handy with color theory, which can be really complicated. Um, you can just really trust your eyes and your gut and just feel your way through it. And I think usually, at least for me, it's worked out really well. A lot of times I try to limit my palette when I do artwork. But with this style, I actually try to use just about any color uh, that I have available. Even colors that I don't generally associate with, like in this case with a portrait, usually wouldn't use, you know, really vibrant blues or greens. But I did use those here. Um, and I think that just adds some interesting aspects to the depth of color and uh, the end result, which I think uh, works out pretty nicely. I'd like to know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions about it, please just ask. I, I'm happy to help. I'll also have a beginner's guide to circulism. If you're interested or you want to know a little bit more about it, and you can watch it right here.